How do some crypto investors avoid bad investments like SAVM? It's not just luck. Believe it or not, the majority of crypto investors overlook the power of on-chain analysis, leading to regrettable investment decisions. There are on-chain analysis tools that help you avoid becoming exit liquidity. These insights can help you save thousands of dollars. Let's go! After SAVM's launch, influencers and insiders made their gains and vanished, leaving retail investors in the dust. A classic case of hype exploitation. The design of SAVM's tokenomics favored quick, short-term profits, compromising the future and integrity of the project. This situation underscores the necessity for token designs that support sustainable growth. Reactive changes to the vesting schedule revealed a lack of clarity from the SAVM team. They came way too late. This drama warns us against faith in influencer-driven campaigns. In crypto, thorough research and transparency are absolutely necessary. It's absolutely necessary for us as investors to understand on-chain analytics and uh, be able to spot red flags and potential rug pulls. Uh, when we come to bubble maps, uh, here we can type something in like a Satoshi VM. And what we immediately see, we have a ETH token uh, distribution here. Um, who sent ETH uh, to which wallet? Um, we have a lot of connections. Uh, first of all, this one here, uh, that's actually a centralized exchange, uh, that's Maxi. So this is not a big problem. But what we can see here is, uh, for example, that one wallet, which has a lot of SAVM, sent ETH to three other wallets. So they are connected, maybe it's the same person. Then we have huge allocations, 15%. Almost 15% again, 2.7%, 2.1%. We have just a few very big wallets holding a lot of SAVM. When we check the stablecoin flows, we can also see there are a lot of connections here. When we check SAVM, which uh, was sent, we also see a connection here, for example. This is one is interesting. A very big wallet uh, sending SAVM to two smaller wallets. Why did they get sent SAVM? Probably they were doing uh, promotions. They are somehow influencers. They are insiders. But this token distribution here is a big red flag. And I would never invest in such a token distribution in such a project, because this looks awful. And uh, what's uh, really nice about uh, bubble maps here is uh, for each address, for each uh, wallet, you can check uh, Etherscan uh, just by clicking here and see exactly uh, what happened here. The uh, SAVM uh, allocation, for example, what was uh, sent from which wallet it was sent uh, to uh, which wallet. And uh, you have uh, all the blockchain data here. A lot happening here on, on this wallet. Uh, very interesting for us and uh, most likely an insider. So uh, as you can see, it's always about the mixture and the combination of different tools. Here we just use bubble maps and Etherscan. Uh, this can help you a lot to understand better what's going on on the blockchain. Let's check a token distribution that looks a lot better. For example, Polygon's token Matic. What you can see here is uh, we also have bigger players, but these are centralized exchanges. That's a Binance Hot Wallet, that's another Binance Wallet. So this is actually okay. We have some interconnected wallets. Uh, these might probably be insiders, project wallets. Uh, we don't know exactly, but this is something that's interesting, something to potentially look into. But all in all, we see there are a lot smaller holders. We don't have these 10, 15, 2% wallets of all tokens. And we have a way more decentralized project than SAVM. 
If that was a little bit too much uh, for the beginning, absolutely no problem. CryptoMonkey ETHBOT, for example, on Twitter, they are posting uh, right now uh, their analysis of different projects uh, working with AI and uh, crypto. And uh, what they are offering, uh, and they already uh, posted this and uh, published this on the uh, 19th of January, uh, is their SAVM analysis. And their highlights here were the owner is hidden, uh, selling may be restricted. They also highlighted that the top five wallets were holding more than 60%, which is a red flag for us. Liquidity wasn't burned, uh, the contract not renounced yet, and they gave it a score of 10 from 100. And afterwards now we see score and the high risk level, their analysis was correct. Uh, it would have warned an investor. And what they did here is uh, analyze the uh, Uniswap uh, contract on Ethereum. And another extremely helpful tool is Dex Screener for sure. And uh, for SAVM, it also shows us the top traders. And these were actually very early. So if you checked SAVM uh, on the launch here and the top traders, you saw that these wallets sold SAVM here, for example, for uh, 210K US dollars, and they never bought it. So they got an allocation for free and they were able to immediately sell it after launch. This is a big red flag. This is so problematic. You see, an early investor should always have a vesting period. It shouldn't be possible to dump a lot of tokens on the token launch. If somebody has conviction in a project, he shouldn't sell it directly. That's a no-go, okay? But on SAVM that was possible because they bootstrapped the project with influencers and uh, they had no vesting period. They, the influencers were able to sell the tokens directly on launch. The SAVM drama is a reminder to always do your own research using tools like bubble maps or deck screener to analyze what happens on the blockchain. Thanks for watching. For more DeFi Alpha and insights, hit that subscribe button. Always remember, being informed is your best defense against becoming exit liquidity. See you on the other side.